Hello everyone, Tony Lee from Network Optics here. Uh, today we are going to talk about a new feature in version 3.2, in-camera analytics. Uh, in-camera analytics is a super powerful feature um, because what it basically does is give uh, everyone who uses an Exynos uh, access to dozens of existing edge-based analytics um, in some of the major manufacturers out there. So Hike Axis, Hike Vision, uh, Hanwha, are, are, are three of the brands uh, that we're integrated with um, and additional brands will be coming along if you have any that you want done quickly for a large project or, or you know you're just really interested in getting done go ahead and comment in our uh, support forum uh, and we'll get back to you um, right now we're really focused on Axis, uh, Hike Vision, and Hanwha uh, so today I'm actually going to show you a Hanwha XNV 8080R X-Series camera a WiseNet X-Series camera from Hanwha TechWin um, so to set up the in-camera analytics, okay, you've got to follow a basic process. Uh, the first process is you're going to want to program your camera and get the analytic, analytic working in the camera itself, right? So here I got to go to the camera settings dialog. I'm going to click on the camera. I'm going to open up the camera web interface. Let me drag it in here so you guys can see. Um, and then I'm going to click on the setup and I'm going to go to analytics here. Um, in this one, I you can see there's lots of different types of analytics here. Uh, in this particular camera, I set up a virtual line uh, cross. So you, if you cross this line in either direction, then I'm going to get uh, an event for it. Right. Um, so I've configured this. I've made sure it's working properly in the camera. The next step is to program it inside of NX Witness. So go back to your NX Witness uh, desktop client. Go to Camera Rules. Um, and you're going to want to add a camera rule if you haven't done one yet. Um, in this case, I've already created one. It's called Analytics Event uh, here. Um, so to program an Analytics Event, when you're choosing your event, you've got a new uh, choice here called Analytics Event. You want to choose Analytics Event, and then you're going to get a drop down with additional data that you're going to have to put in. Um, so you're going to have to choose the camera or cameras where this event is occurring. If you have the same model camera, and it has the same exact analytic on it, well then you can run um, one rule to receive one event uh, from, from multiple cameras. In this case, we're just gonna do the one camera. So XNV 8080R, I've got that one selected, I press OK. Um, and when you select the camera, then the event types is gonna be automatically populated. So here's all the different analytics that are available in this camera model. Um, and I've set up a virtual line cross, so I'm gonna choose virtual line crossing. Um, we still have caption and description, which is similar to our generic events. Um, this allows you to filter events by appended metadata. Um, and then we have schedule, which allows you to choose the time frame um, when you want this uh, rule to run, right? like always. Um, so that's it. That's all I have to do. Set it up in the camera, come in here, choose the event, and then set up my action. So for this case, I did a, for this particular um, demonstration, I used bookmark. So I'm going to create a bookmark every time someone crosses that line. And it's going to have a fixed duration of 5 seconds. And it's going to have pre-recording of 5 seconds. right? And the other thing is, um, I've got another one set up that says show notification. So I'm going to pull my notification bar out here and pen it. Right? And I'll show you real fast that this is working. And you can see I've already got some bookmarks created from when I was testing it. But let me get rid of this. And there you go. Virtual line cross, and you can see uh, right here, it's kind of hard to see on the new stuff, but uh, you got bookmarks that have been created for it. So if we look at this morning, so if I want to see when I arrived in the office, um, I know it's around 6 a.m. because I'm such a hard worker. Just kidding. Um, 9 a.m. here. 9.05 p.m. Um, so let's scroll in. And you should be able to see me. Oop, wasn't on it. There I am, eating my sous vide eggs from Starbucks. So, 
this is in camera analytics. It's a super simple, super powerful um, new feature. Um, if you think about it, you could combine a lot of different analytics um, to to mitigate certain situations. Um, there are literally dozens of analytics that you guys are available to choose from. If you go to our website and you go to networkoptics.com uh, and you search uh, for analytics, we've got a full list of some of the key features um, for the different manufacturers with links back to the uh, pages So uh, for those manufacturers so you can see all the analytics that you could use with this uh, new feature. So 3.2 in-camera analytics. Looking forward to seeing what you guys can do with it.